there welcome to my channel my name is stephanie and i'm a london based content creator if you're not nigerian i don't know what size is you've been saying n size just go to the video here see just the description in the description box i also have a blog post explaining what it is so i'm in my kitchen now just trying to find out if i should make lunch a soup or something then again and maybe i should also do that ccme challenge it's quite fun i'm trying to cook for a family of three four five or whatever with 1500 naira 1500 naira is like two pounds something not even up to three pounds maybe i'll do that <laughs> so i said i'll do that i'll probably just jump out now go to the market there's this market called east street market okay. oh this my head is so big <laughs> yeah so come on then let's go <laughs> It was difficult, like seriously, I went to the one place called Buy and Buy, it's on Camberwell Road. So I lots of things, tomato, pear, pear, plantain was the easiest bet, to be honest, because you can get three for £120 right now. And the way you get plantain, you still need to make a sauce for the plantain. So to buy the tomato, pear, pear, £1 for those things, like minimum tomato and pepper you see is £1. You can start asking them for 50p tomato and 50p pepper so you can buy spices, you get So it was just a bit daunting. And guess what I decided to do? I got these. I got plantain chips, guys. You know, the first person that came to my mind was this girl, the owner of Sumo Chips. This babe happened to place in places like Sainsbury's, Wake Rose, like plantain chips there. I was so impressed with the girl when I heard her story and stuff. So when plantain chips came to my mind, because I saw plantain chips everywhere I was, and it was quite affordable. Like you can get two for one pound or two for 60p. And the first and most popular one, which I always have right now, is Olu Olu plantain chips. Guys, this plantain chips is amazing. So this was one I used to have before I found Olu Olu. I think I found Olu Olu in my friend's house. The next one which I really find tasty is this one. It is so tiny though. So this was one of those ones that were two for something less than one pound. A village pride. Village pride. I recently found this one out as well. I love the way it's plenty. Though it's still, there's a sort of breeze inside the plantain chips. But you can see it still gets to a good extent. I love the packaging of this one. Yeah, baby chips. This is Ades, guys. Ades in London are the most, I think they're the biggest distributors of Nigerian products. Like, if you literally have a restaurant or have a shop where you sell Nigerian product bread and stuff, these are your plug. Last but not the least is this one I found in Guess What? Iceland. I don't even know if this is an old Nigerian made product. Let's see. Grace Foods Colombia. So this is by Colombia. This is actually not black owned, unfortunately. Sorry, guys. Enough of the ranting. I'm going to get my little jars here, these ones, and then pull the chips and we'll start tasting them, eating them. So let me just set up. This is my cranberry juice, and we're going to start eating my plantain chips as well.
So guys, that's it for this plantain chips. But I would like to rate everything from the bottom to the top. Bottom, I would say is Addis. Sorry, Addis. There was a lot of oil taste in the Addis plantain chips. This runner-up will be Asiko. It's crazy how this was what I was literally living on. If when people could not bring me red oak from Nigeria, because this was even nice to really see. But trying the all these other ones, guy, you are number. Six. Why the taste? I don't know. The taste is not that natural. It's not as savory and as interesting as the other ones. So unfortunately, Olu Olu. Apart from the fact that your chips is really difficult to open, the taste is good. Just comparing it to these ones. The good thing about Olu Olu is that they are available everywhere. Like big up to your marketing, your branding, everything. Number four, number four. I would just say it's Village Pride. As I showed you guys when I was eating it, hundred percent natural. It tastes really good so if this is the only thing you see you are good to go my next one would be i would say mr columbia this was the easiest to chew like you literally have this and you'll be thinking gosh hope i'll have a next one hope there's next one because of is it has the real cheap slicing easy to chew you know how they say pringles once you pop you can't stop that is this grace chips unfortunately you're not black on your number two for number two, I would say you BB chips. BB chips shocks me with their texture. For texture, this is ultimate number one for all this thing. Texture is so good. It's actually called big bananas. I don't know if it's in plants. Eh? They're actually made of bananas, but yeah, BB chips. Whoever makes you amazing job on the texture level. And then for number one, it is Bima chips. Bima chips, unfortunately, you're very tiny in the pack. No, but taste wise it's amazing and it finishes quickly then again it helps you control your portion so that's another reason why uh be my chips is going to be number one for today thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a thumb up button i'll see you on the next episode bye bye mm.